morning friends and welcome to the pre-market update. Friends, what we saw in yesterday's uh, US markets that the uh, Dow and the US uh, closed marginally down and after the six weeks rally that we have seen, the best rally that we have seen since December 2010. Uh, yes, there was some weak data from Japan uh, which were causing the selling in the, in, the, in the US markets. However, what we have seen is that a lot is expected from the US and the European Central Bank to take action to revive the economies. But unless and until in September that we see that the central banks will hold their next policy meets, uh, no further action is expected till sub September. Uh, back home, what we saw yesterday's, in yesterday's markets, uh, we saw the FIs again being positive at around in the cash markets of around 340 crores, whereas the domestic uh, mutual funds uh, sold at around 170 crores in the cash markets. Uh, uh, some of the important uh, uh, companies uh, came out with the results yesterday. Uh, Tisco came out with the results which were uh, way below the expectations. We would see some negative impact in the, in the stock today. Uh, on the other, other hand, Suzlon came out with some very uh, weak numbers. Uh, Coal India came out with uh, numbers which were more or less in line with the estimates. Uh, Going ahead, we will have to take the uh, we will have to look at the way the market span out. We will call up call upon Mr. Seville for further market cues going ahead. Friends, in spite of FIs being net seller of around 908 crores in yesterday's trade in FNO segment, what we have seen is that some fresh long build up has taken place in the market as there were 10.41 lakh shares added in open interest, and also we have seen that the cost of carry has increased marginally. Now the PCR ratio is continuing to uh, move further upward and uh, at 1.20 compared to 1.17. The implied volatility has cooled off marginally or say from the individual strikes perspective from it has increased marginally. So what we feel is that the overall bias for the market is still positive. And uh, if we have a look at the current matrix in front of us, what we have seen is that 5,100 put option stands with highest number of shares in open interest followed by 5,200 put option. Whereas on the higher side, 5,500 call option stands with the highest number of shares followed by 5,400 call option. So friends, what we feel is that as the as we are trading about the VWAP of uh, VWAP, weekly VWAP of 5,300, our bias for the market is positive. And if Nifty is able to close above 5,400, then probably higher targets on the Nifty can be seen. In, uh, from the intraday perspective, what we recommend is one can buy Hindalco call option 130 strike price with stop loss of 80 paisa and target of 2.50 and 4 rupees. And also one can buy ICICI bank call option 980 strike with stop loss of 7 rupees and target of 18 and 24. Uh, for the first idea is uh, Tisco. As I already mentioned, that the company has come out with the results. The results were well below, the, below the expectations, where the net profit came at around uh, 597 crores, as uh, against the expectations of 689 crores. On the back of those weaker results, uh, we would recommend an action to go short on Tisco on the intraday perspective, with a stop loss of 404 and targeting around 386 through 378. On the news front, uh, India Cement, uh, that is, there are media reports that it would sell its stake to Jagati Publications. Friends, as we have seen before, that the company has sold stake to the Bharti Cements, uh, where it uh, had made a profit of around 35 crores. On the back of those news, uh, we would long advise to go long on India Cement with stop loss of 83.5 and targeting 88 to 89. Friends, we have already uh, uh, learned that the cement makers have been. Uh, impacted with the uh, pen, uh, imposed a penalty by the CCF at around 6,700 crores. And on the back of those penalties, the companies will have to comply with within the 90 days uh, from the issue of the same. On the back of those news for the cement manufacturers, uh, we would recommend to go short on ACC with a stop loss of 1386 and targeting 1320 to 1300 rupees. Suzlon came out with the numbers which were much below the expectations. The, it announced its first quarter, the consolidated net loss came at around 849 crores versus the profit of 69 crores year on year. On the back of those weaker results, we would recommend to go short with a stop loss of 18.1 and targeting 17.2 to 17 rupees. That's it friends. Uh, uh, on, on the back of the, the other news that we have today, we have inflation data which is likely to come out today where the street expectations is around 7.2 percent. The inflation numbers are likely to be announced somewhere around 12 o'clock today. Uh, friends, as you all know that RBI has been uh, very um, skeptical in, re in uh, reducing the uh, repo rate. Uh, uh, in today's inflation data could provide some signal as to what could be the RBI's uh, 
uh, stance on the next monetary policy. Apart from that, we have some strong, uh, from some important results which are likely to come out today. Hindalco Industries consolidated PAT with expectation of around 896 crores. The, we have Reliance Infrastructure coming out with the results where we expected PAT is around 348 crores. We have Reliance Power where we're expecting a PAT of around 229 crores. Then we have Cox and Kings coming out with the results with expecting of around 94 crores. Unitech is coming out with the results expecting a PAT of around 73 crores. Renuka Sugars we're expecting a PAT of rupees 67 crores. Amaraja Batteries is coming out with the results with expecting a PAT of around 59 crores. And there are many more results more, but we'll come out with an update during the market. That's it, friends, from the MID. Thanks and have a nice trading session.